This is the 6th generation F-47 NGAD fighter. It is a $300 million large, high-performance, long-range, ultra-stealthy piece of American ingenuity and lethality. The most advanced fighter in the world, yet it was close to being canceled and never seeing the light of day. But recently, Boeing has officially been chosen to build America's next super jet. Revealed by President Trump, this 6th generation stealth fighter F-47 is set to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor. Only 186 F-22s were built, but the Air Force wants up to 250 NGAs. The era of air dominance is about to be rewritten. The development of the NGAD fighter is expected to cost around $20 billion, and that's only for research and development. Building the final products while the fighters themselves is expected to cost $300 million per fighter. The total cost for 100 fighters would be roughly $30 billion. That's a total of $50 billion, including the development costs. And of course, the Air Force could aim for more than 100 fighter units, which could easily mean more billions to spend. Before committing the GDPs of entire states to one fighter, the Air Force needed to be sure that it needed said fighter in the first place, especially since new technologies were making other approaches to air dominance possible. Unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, for one, have been taking the spotlight in recent years. They're relatively cheap, highly lethal, available in an instant, and ready to swarm in large numbers. They've been more than decisive in the Russia-Ukraine war and have taken the interest of even China, which has been building an entire army of them. Another likely option was a general change of mentality in the U.S. Air Force from an agile attacking force to one that stays a great distance away and launches long-range ammunition at the enemy. The new $700 million B-21 Raider, the most advanced bomber in history, could make this possible. Armed with weapons that can take out targets the bomber can't even see, ultra-long-range attacks would be a breeze. With all of these in mind, the U.S. Air Force put the NGAD program on hold at the closing stages of 2024 for an in-depth review of the program. If the NGAD fighter was to be built, it had to prove itself worthy, and it did exactly that. Extensive war simulations showed that the Air Force faced greater risk and was less able to achieve major objectives without the NGAD fighter on board. The simulations revealed a need to keep persistent pressure on the enemy in forward areas and that a force structure centered solely on long-range standoff capabilities does not win major fights. The U.S. isn't alone in stocking long-range weapons. China is doing the same thing at a possibly greater pace than the U.S. The Air Force generals therefore came to a unanimous decision. The NG-80 fighter wasn't only useful, it was also crucial to American air dominance in the future, especially a future that could feature a high-end conflict with China. China's air capabilities are growing at an incredible pace. While the U.S. debated on whether or not to forge ahead with the NGAD fighter, two new next-generation Chinese aircraft were spotted in the sky a few months ago on December 26, 2024. These tailless aircraft, they looked impressive, they looked soon to be ready, and perhaps most importantly, they looked like the greatest threat of the NGAD fighter. The emergence of the two advanced tailless tactical combat aircraft from China sent shockwaves around the globe and got everyone, military and civilian, talking. Exactly what role these aircraft are intended to fulfill isn't perfectly clear yet. However, the U.S. Air Force has been crystal clear that they're very likely for air superiority purposes. They could therefore